Hello everybody, this is Tyler Osama awesome Fock and welcome back to Well, not welcome back, welcome to Hyperdimension Neptune Reaper 2 Sisters Generation. Now, not to ravel on, but I hope you enjoyed those upscale 2K uh, graphics that I ripped straight from the game because you know, these games are wide open, other than you know the data files and manipulating the game code because you know nobody's been able to do that yet. Not as far as I've seen. So, anyways. Here we go, new game. The DLC, Histy's Rehabilitation Pack, which is just a whole bunch of healing stuff. Beginner Pack, which is a lot more healing stuff. DLC Compact 1, you get a whole bunch of different plans, a key fragment. Level cap, 300 increased. Coliseum, basically that one. Chain Dungeon and zone, another 300 for the cap. More plans. And another content pack, uh, contact path three. Chain dungeon, Ice Frail, Shining Ring, Black Hat, yada yada yada. Now the level cap is 199. <laughs> Plans have been added. A whole bunch of feelless stuff. The anime uh, beam zapper zero. Pippin Afro, which uh, okay. Eye mask, which is just another DLC item that you get. And my collaboration set. Nope, the, sorry, this is the anime one. The other one is uh, the Cheaty Sword, you know. And here we are. Prelude to the end. That's all? You! Take this! Ha! Damn you! Ugh. Too slow! Prepare yourself! Be gone! How's this? Take this! Gotcha! Yeah! 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 yeah. There! Be gone! That's all? Neptune. No way. My sister. All four of the CPUs. We don't have a chance. Right. Game industry is doomed! Game industry faces a dire crisis. Shops are boarded up, creators are overworked and starving, and death looms over all game industry men. But the CPUs refuse to let this be game over for their world. Game industry had severed its ties to the chaotic, lawless realm long ago. And yet, ever since the advent of ASIC, the R4 Syndicate of International Crime, morality has all but vanished. As much as 80% of all students are rumored to worship a being known as R4. Parents, despite knowing it to be a poor deity to worship, have gone ahead and allowed their children to do so. Even the governing bodies of the world have turned a blind eye to it, rather than crush the crisis in its infancy. Well, basically, game industry was pretty messed up, you guys. <clears throat> Thus did game industry fall into complete and utter disarray. Those who tire of living in this corrupt world are sent to wander the game industry graveyard forever lost. Kind of like what IF and Kamba are experiencing right now. Welcome to the Game Industry Graveyard. We finally made it all the way to the Game Industry Graveyard. Yep. So it's 
scenes. I don't get why you're so scared. But look at the weird stuff all over the place. As its name implies, the game industry graveyard is where those whose time has passed go to rest for eternity. There's my East War. Aww. <laughs> All things you see here were once inhabitants of game industry proper. Uh, oh, really? You know, this is why I said it'd be okay if you stayed behind. N no way! I never agree to that. I want to help Nepnep -Nep and Gigi, and the other CPUs as well. And so do I. Hard to believe they've been missing for three whole years now. It's so stupid of them to make me worry like this. All will be made right soon. I am certain they are alive. I can feel it in my heart. And my soul. And it took me three years to confirm that they're still alive. Even if they are seriously injured, as long as you possess the Sherisite I had prepared for you. Sherisite. The crystallized power of the people's faith. If that's true, then you're right. Okay, let's hurry up and find our ladies, Kampa. We'll carry them all home if we have to. Uh, doubt. Okie dokie. Jeez, this search is taking forever. Uh-huh. Where do you think everyone could be? Uh, uh... Yikes! Hey, come on! What's with the sudden shouting? A voice! I heard a moaning voice! Uh, Kampa, you're too pure. You should really just turn away. You did? Where? What direction did it come from? I have you, pervert. I think it was that way. Nice. Let's get moving. Um, wait a minute. Please don't leave me here alone. There! It's Nap! Iffy? Kampa? Chi-Chi is here too! And look! The other CPUs! Wow! Wow! Who would restrain them like this? Why is Bl Why does Blonde have to look- <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do that to her. Nap! Snap out of it, would ya? It's no good. She's still out cold. Man, what's up with these stupid tentacle things? It's called Japan has a thing for them. Uh, you wouldn't get it, I have. Do not attempt to force them free by hand. Kampa, please utilize the Sherisite. Right. It's somewhere here in my handy dandy nurse's pouch. I won't allow it! Ah! Who are you? You better not get in our way. <laughs> For someone to be insane enough to travel here? Inconceivable! I would just like to point out that, uh. He looks like a PlayStation controller. There you go, that's all I have to say. And I'm only basing it off the fact of it's black and he has the L button trigger label thing that's on the up left right there. Uh, if you don't know, I think old P... I think it's PS2 controllers had it. I think they stopped doing it with uh, PlayStation 3 and onwards. But yeah, they used to show the where the L button is uh, on the casing for the thing just so when you look at it you can see where the L... L and R buttons were. Three long years. I've remained idle for too damn long. It's finally time to destroy! Uh, you're way too soon for... Or, yeah, you're way, way too early for that. Wait another six years before you can say something about idols. I don't get his problem, but we've got a fight on our hands. I'll handle him. So go save the CPUs, Kampa. Don't worry, Kampa. I'll hand her this gigantic chunk of machinery. You go save. You go save the CPUs, and hopefully they can help me once I dead. Once I'm dead. Y you betcha. Please, please wake up. Wow. <sighs> Gigi, are you back 
with us? Ampa? I... I was... I'm so happy you're alive! Let me get the other CPUs up too. <laughs> weak! So pathetically weak! Come on! Make the fight more interesting for me! Come on! Hi, Yev? Here? <laughs> well, now I feel stupid that you get to see me in such a sorry state. Be careful. This creep is freakishly strong. Let me help out too. We have to buy some time so everyone can wake up and regain their strength. I... I'll fight too! And here we are, yada yada yada. There's tutorial stuff. I'll get into it once we get to the point. Don't worry about the XE drive because we won't be getting to that for quite a while. I'm Holy going shit. At full force. I think I was speaking there. I'm sorry. Oh no, we actually do get the, the that kind of stuff. Although, you, you see what I mean? Uh, you can't even attack them. You can't even defend. You can't even switch certain. You have to use the XE drive here. But I guess I was wrong. I should probably go turn down uh, the sound effects. They're way too loud. How dare you! How dare you not do any damage? Is it really? Is that seriously all the strength you possess? I mean, no. In Planet Two, nobody's been, you know, keeping up the shares over there, other than Iswar. So, uh, yeah, that's basically about it. <laughs> We're not affecting him at all. Kampa, aren't Nep and the others coming too yet? Um, I don't think they're gonna be waking up anytime soon. Yeah, I think they're dead. Perhaps the Sherisite was not pure enough to awaken the CPUs proper. Only. God damn it, Ayaf! I knew you shouldn't have chased after the moaning. You serious? Then there's nothing else we can do here. And the only reason why Kampa was able to do it is because she's a pure-hearted maiden. Again, I'm going to lose again. No, 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 no! This was just a waste of my time. I'll finish you all off right now. No, I, I'm completely powerless. Wait, if I use what's left of the Sherisite's power. Please be enough. Come on. What? No, oh, the light! My eyes! My eyes! My eyes! Also my leg, but mostly my eyes. It worked? Nice thinking, gear. Was it enough? <sighs> I think she's blind too now. Nope, she died. Okay. Huh? Gigi, this is no time to pass out again! What? What happened? Did she seriously lose consciousness now of all times? It's called pot convenience. Unforgivable! You'll never escape! Once my retinal systems come back online, I'll kill you all! The time has come to withdraw. Nothing more can be done now. You heard her, Kampa. Let's hurry up and get gear out of this place. Y yeah! So I completely misforgot or versus me remembered the EXE drive. It seems we managed to lose him. <sighs> Gigi is way heavier than she looks. Jesus Christ, Kampa. That's so rude. Even after all that, the only one we could help was Gear. Not to mention. The Sherisite's power was expended, and it shattered when Gigi had it unleash that light. There's no way we can help the CPUs without that. There is no reason to be so hard on yourselves. Saving Nepgear is a very critical accomplishment. Then what's next, Istoir? Return to Planetune. We shall have Nepgear rest until she has recovered her strength. Besides, I must learn what transpired three years ago, even if the memories are painful for her to recall. Chapter 1, Divine... Oratorio? Or, or Tario? Oratorio. That, that font's really hard to see the D and the O's. 
it. Good morning. You're finally awake! There's the nap gear I know. What a relief. You were asleep for so long that we were all getting really worried. How do you feel? You forgot the Andy swore. Um, I think I'm fine now. But, um, so... I'm really sorry. If anyone should apologize, it should be me. It was my command that sent you five to that battlefield. Huh? No, no! I would never blame you! It all went south because... Because I wasn't strong enough. You look awfully happy for saying that. It may be sudden, but I must ask you to recount what occurred three years ago at the game industry graveyard. Of course. That's insane! All of you lost against a single opponent? That's so hard to believe. How could the CPUs lose? Can I ask a question now? What happened to game industry after we lost that battle? You said it's been three years, so... The situation is bleak, I am afraid. ASIC, under the assumed command of R4, controls much of the world. And it's not that R4. Disc burning, disc copying, even kids now see piracy as normal and have put their faith in it. In other words, everyone believes in ASIC. So the faith that powers the CPUs has grown very weak. Making just that one small Sherisite crystal took us nearly all three years. Well, with the CPUs absent from their nations, it's no surprise. We failed to save them. And we have come to learn that ASIC's goal is to revive the deity of sin. At the rate our world is declining, they may achieve that goal. But isn't there anything we can do to stop them? Yes, one way yet exists, and that way is you, Nepgear. Along with the other CPU's younger sisters, your fellow CPU candidates. And no, you're not the best one, Nepgear, I'm sorry. Wait, me? And I'm not the only CPU candidate? Haven't you played Rebirth? Wait, I forgot Rebirth 1 isn't even canon anymore. <laughs> it hasn't been canon in years. And I don't think even the newer, uh, Rebirth 1 is canon. <laughs> Why can't they just make it canon? Jesus Christ. Correct. As you know, only the CPUs themselves and the CPU candidates are able to gather shares. If enough shares are recovered, ASIC and those affiliated with it should weaken. I remember what she said. Only CPUs and CPU candidates can get shares. So how do they get a share site, huh? I keep peeking the goddamn microphone. I'm doing a sin here. Cause I want to I want to talk louder than I can. Uh Basically, uh Yeah, CPU and CPU candidates can only create shares. So how did they get a share, share site pure enough to be able to save Nepgear in the first place? Cuz Eastbar is I'm just gonna spoil it. It's the Oracle for Planet of Dune, and Planet of Dune is where Nepgear and Neptune are from. And since they were both gone, how did they get the sheriff to do that? IF can't do it, Kampa can't do it, not even Iswar can do it. Or not, she hasn't been, or she shouldn't have been able to do it. So, explain to me that plot hole. They want me to collect shares in my sister's stead? Aw, she's doing the finger thingy from anime girls that do. I want to help Neptune. I want to help the world. But... There's no way I can beat such a strong opponent. I don't have a chance. Isn't that approach too slow? ASIC might be able to gather shares faster than we can reclaim them. Good point. And even the people who believed in the CPUs probably know they've lost by now. In that case, we could request assistance from the mascots that reside in each nation. They're not canon anymore, by the way. Like game mascots? Born from the ancient goddesses, they oversee the balance and order of our world in a passive manner. That is to say, they preside over the nations to ensure prosperity and remain neutral to all else. But when needed, they will stand by the CPUs and rid the world of evil's influence. I had no idea they even existed. Indeed. Not even I am aware of their precise locations. 
I have been researching where the mascot for Planetune resides, but to no avail. I will inform you all once I find something of note. In the meantime, please regain Planetune's shares. This will also serve to rehabilitate Nepgear's combat ability. Makes sense. I mean, Gear didn't even move much in the past three years, let alone fight. Her muscles have atrophied. Hey, you listening, Gear? Huh? Oh, um, yes. That means she is not. Very well. Then allow me to give you this. Oh no, she handed her a gun. What is it? This is the end gear. It is a portable device with a multitude of functions. It should prove invaluable to you. Then why did you cock a gun with it? <laughs> Bullet ring system? Yeah, yeah, I'll explain it. And here we reach the part where the Steam page lied. I'll bring it up again here on screen. Uh, yeah, it says full uh, English dialogue, and that's a lie. I think they changed it between uh, when I first did Rebirth 1 many, many years ago, back in the olden times of 2019. And now it probably doesn't even say it properly. I don't know. I haven't seen it. But I'll bring up the one that it said for uh, Rebirth 1, because I know I still have that one. And showed that they lied on the scene page for a while. And this is where I get to read the visual novel parts until they decide to chime in every so often. So here we go. So, now what? Should we get some work at the guild? The guild, huh? Alright, you've never been there yourself, have you, Gear? We get all sorts of work orders from all over Game Industry to there. We take on assignment, complete it, report the results, and get paid. Pretty simple, right? It's basically temp work. Although, actually doing it once may give you a better idea of the flow. Let's go! Hello, we'd like to sign up for some fun work, please. Huh? Only one order, work order today. Let's see. What's up for you? Defeat the dogoos that are overpopulating the virtual forests. Reports of the travelers being attacked by past of dogoos. Terminate them. Well, that works for us. Can I just say I really want a doggoo plushie? Like... A properly licensed one, not like one of those fan-made ones, because, you know, I'm a huge, gigantic Neptunia fan, and I have every single Neptunia game that's been released on Steam. I even have, uh, the Neptunia DLC for Senran Kagura. I think it beats Splash? Whatever the, whatever the one with the water guns. I even have the Neptune DLC for that one. So, yeah, I'm a big Neptunia fan. That's where I get my weep part in Pocket Size the Weep, other than, you know, just watching anime. Virtual Forest course, they're very close to us, and the Mr. Dogoos aren't very tough enemies. Uh, okay, but am I ready for this? She's doing the anime finger thing again. Uh, that's a, that's a common thing, just don't, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Come on, let's head to the Virtual Forest. Any combo setups? Yeah, I'll get to it later. I'll get to that later, too. That's in the next episode, though. Alrighty. So many places. Hold on. Let's see. I'm gonna do this on camera. Cause Jesus Christ. As much as I really like the volume and stuff for everything, I'm gonna also turn you down to like, I don't know, 50. And you down to 50. I am gonna go and just save that. That's all I need to save. And save the game. I first completed the game in 2018. It took me 17 hours. Then I completed it again in 2019 on September 11th, funnily enough. And it took me almost 23 hours to complete. Let's see how long this playthrough lasts. And I'm gonna be saving it in these three slots here. Alrighty. Also, before I end the episode, can I just say? This world is so vast. Can I just say something? Choose where you want to go. Can I just say something about the uh, voiceover for uh, I F and Kampa in the graveyard? 
What? It, it, it just sounds so bad. I mean, the Japanese version sounds so much better. Where Take a look at it going? right here. See? Isn't that so much better? Like, what? Why did. What? I'll come too. I, I, don't, I don't dislike Christina V. She does a good job as Kampa, but she needs to put at least a tiny bit of more emotion there. But, I mean, she's grown a lot over the past couple of years. Hell, she even has a mainstay in uh, a, a TV show that was originally made in France and now is on Netflix. So there's that. But, before anything else, can I just say I really like this one? Before we do anything else in the world, well, I'm going to end off the episode here. Thank you all for watching Hyperdimension Neptune Rebirth 2, Sister Generation. If you would like to see more Neptune games, there's a card on the top of the screen right about now that contains my playlist of the VOD, uh, the VODs, uh, multiple, of my Rebirth game series. I've played the normal ending and the true ending of the game, so you can watch it all there. I think I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I think that was the first time I've really properly talked to my buddy Alana Dis, so it's pretty old. Choose where you want to go. And on screen now, you'll be seeing the stuff for the end card, basically. Please, if you don't mind, you saying, please check out my other series, like, comment, subscribe, do all the yada yada stuff. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Where are we going? Bye -bye.